Today we're going to check out three common scale patterns using chromatic approach notes and use them as exercises. So you should be comfortable playing scales in all keys and preferably also in thirds up and down like this. That will make things a bit easier. All of these three scale patterns have a chromatic approach note from underneath each scale tone, like this. And if we play exactly that and add a third, we have the first exercise. As you might know, I prefer to practice these kind of patterns in smaller cells and also spread them out in the whole range. So let's say our lower part of the comfortable range is around uh, C sharp. We can start the first cell there, like this. And we are still in F major. And when that cell feels okay, we move one scale tone upwards. And so on. Going downwards. Even though you practice in smaller cells, once you get these patterns in your ears and your muscles, you will start to automatically expand. But when you improvise, you wouldn't want to use this pattern for too long anyway, because then it starts to sound like an exercise, right? <laughs> is long enough, I think, or... Some keys will force you to play further out on the slide, like uh, D-flat, uh, lower down. Kind of tricky, but uh, good exercise. Moving on now to the second pattern, where the only thing we will do is to cut off the first note from the previous uh, pattern. So now it sounds like this. This is extra beneficial to practice in smaller cells because of the rhythmic uh, displacement. It's the same rhythm as uh, Glenn Miller's In the Mood, right? Okay, last one. This is almost like an enclosure, but not really, because we pass uh, through the target note. So this time we start one diatonic, so a scale tone, above the target scale tone. Then we go down chromatically, as usual, and back up again. So it sounds like this. On the way down I've turned it around, like this. This is the only pattern that I'm not sure I've ever heard on the jazz recording. It sounds more like uh, Mozart or something, but it's still a great exercise. So we practice in cells.
So for those of you who prefer to have exercises like these written out in all keys, I have a PDF available for purchase, link in the description, but you can also just learn them by ear and move them around the keys yourself. This video is kind of an introduction to chromaticism, so check that out if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.